Tonight, the Gorham School Committee took the next steps towards a third school budget proposal after voters rejected the previous two. James Corrigan live there tonight. And James, how much progress was made there tonight? John, the committee is close to sending a new number to the town council for approval, but the council's $2 million cut to the budget, its implications were felt here tonight as a quirk in state law meant that the committee had to make some tough decisions based on an already rejected budget. These are not the cuts I wanted to make. An emotional audience watched as a reluctant Gorham School Committee voted to terminate the contracts of four teachers on the spot, along with Assistant Superintendent Brian Porter as he sat and watched. That was one of the most difficult evenings of my life. And I don't feel like anyone uh, deserved what we had to do this evening. It doesn't benefit the students. It doesn't benefit the community. State law says that without a school budget, a district has to abide by the last budget the town's council had approved. That means the budget voted down by 72% of Gorham voters yesterday is currently on the books, meaning the $2 million of cuts the budget included is now law. We remain very hopeful that what was done tonight um, is not the end of the story, but only sort of the midway point of that story, and that ultimately we'll be able to come back and... Uh, and reinstate many of the positions that were, were cut tonight. The school committee discussed how to do just that in what will be the third budget proposal in about a two-month span. Most committee members spoke in favor of cutting $500,000 from the original proposal as opposed to the $2 million cut by the town council. Superintendent Heather Perry says she believes the discussion will lead to further cooperation. We understand the impacts of that proposed budget to our children, but we also understand the impacts of that proposed budget to um, to the whole community and the taxpayers. And so we're seeking a compromise. We're seeking to get to that middle ground, that balance. Uh, and, and I hope that the town council is also seeking that same thing. I'm sure they are. Now the school committee will meet again on August 2nd to finalize a proposal. That'll be sent to the town council where they'll meet on August 8th to discuss it. The superintendent hopes that a referendum will be held on August 15th on a budget that she hopes will save the jobs that were slashed tonight. Live in Gorham, I'm James Cargan with Maine's Total Coverage.